Hey guys, so jumping right into the tutorial, I actually prepped, cleansed my face, did all that earlier. Um, and what I'm gonna grab now is I got this sample of the Fenty Beauty. It was like a 100 point perk from Sephora. I've really been loving it. Um, and I have actually tried it. I tried it when it first came out and it was actually really good. And it keep, like it's very hydrating, which is what I like about it. But your makeup, it's very tacky too. So your makeup does last a decent amount of time. And I like to focus it around my smile lines because after surgery, I'll insert a photo, a clip of before and after. You can see I had a very large face. So with weight loss, you know, everything shrinks and um, my skin elasticity obviously isn't the same. So I do feel like I have more prominent lines there and that does run in my family. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Bobbi Brown mattifying primer and just put that there so that the oils and the foundations don't crease up in there. And yeah, this is a really good mattifying primer too because it's not very drying. I feel like some mattifying primers could be very drying and this one isn't. Um, and in the back it says it controls oil and shine, blurs, pores, and refreshes the skin which I do agree. So I like to combine these two because this one controls the oil and this one's a little bit more hydrating and tacky so the foundation sticks to it a little. The next step that I'm gonna do in my routine, which is what I always do after I um, prime, is I like to do my brows first. And the reason why I like to do my brows first, which is um, I didn't realize that a lot of people prefer to do their brows last. Um, for me, I like to def uh, to kind of define the shape of your face first before I um, go in with your makeup or your um, eyeshadow because I feel like once I see like where your eyebrows are, I can visualize how I want your makeup to look. So I do the same for So myself. I picked up the Natasha Denona Lila palette. It comes with 15 eyeshadows. Um, and I don't remember the price of the palette, but it will be linked down below. I got it at Beautylish, so I'll link it from Beautylish. Such a beautiful, amazing palette. I haven't even touched it, swatched it, none of that. Um, and I got this back in like March, but um, living back and forth, I haven't even played with it. And I'm so excited. I love like this color, this rose gold color. The mattes are beautiful. I do have a smaller Natasha Denona palette. So I know that they work very well and they're very pigmented and they blend very beautifully. And the reason why I picked up this color palette was because um, I feel like back in spring, a lot of like those pinky, warmer tones like this Huda Beauty palette I had also picked up at the same time which was very similar colors these are phenomenal as well if you're on a budget $27 you get nine shadows and they're so pigmented I want to pick up a few more of these because I actually want to I think I want to use the smoky eye one for my makeup for my wedding um so we'll see but yeah so this palette such a beautiful palette I love all the pinks, the purples. I think this is perfect for fall, winter. Um, and in magazines, I've noticed a lot of like that pink eye trending. So that's not what I'm gonna be doing today, but I wanna play around with like the mattes and like this cranberry shade and this shade and maybe that shade. And later on in the future, maybe during the holidays, I'll play around with the purples and the pinks. But for today, I'm gonna keep it really fall. And yeah, let's jump right so to begin the eye look, I'm going to take the NARS um, Pro Prime. This is one of my favorite primers. I think I've gone through like three tubes of this um, amazing primer. Your shadows go on really smooth and pigmented and they don't, they last all day. So I love this um, primer for the eyes and I've used many primers. This one I feel like is the lightest weight and the colors go on so smooth and pigmented, especially if you're using high quality shadows. This primer I do highly recommend. And I know that they just recently came out with um, ones with a little bit of color. And to begin the look, I'm actually gonna go in with the transition shade 
uh, which is nude mauve. And This is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, and I'm just gonna go in with that ivory color. So And I'm kind of, this is my first time, kind of, kind of, this is my first time trying to create like a cut crease um, because I really want this color right here, which is called uh, Pur Pure, to stand out as much as it possibly could. And I figured if I put a little bit of concealer on, it would. And this is going to be, there is no fallout in these shadows. They're so phenomenal. And I feel like this with the concealer underneath is gonna pop really beautifully. I put that color all over the lid and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with the shade so I have the other so I have that shade all over the lid wherever I put that concealer and the next thing I want to do is I actually want to take this color right here which is called Amara and The next thing I'm going to do is go in with the color Helio, which is this one right here at the corner. And with this side of that brush, I'm just going to dust that right into the inner corner. So that's that look. And I actually think I want to keep my eyes like this because I want to do a wing liner today. And this is the Tom Ford wing um, I think I'm gonna keep my eye look like this today because I wanted to do a wing liner and once I clean up everything, do the wing liner and put like false lashes, it should come together. So yeah, this is the Tom Ford uh, eye defining pen. Let me tell you something, I've gone through so many of these. It's, it's expensive, but worth every penny. This is my favorite liquid liner. I won't use anything else. It comes dual sided. Just if you are looking for an amazing liquid liner, this is it. I'm gonna actually do my liner. And the next thing that we're gonna do is our complexion. I've been playing around with this foundation that I am absolutely in love with. It is pricey. I believe it's only in Sephora. It's exclusive to Sephora, so you can't find it in any other department store. And it is the Dior Backstage Foundation. And this stuff is very lightweight, thin, but has such beautiful coverage. If you wanna see a full in-depth review on this, please leave a comment down below. It's, def it's definitely something that I have been loving and I use this for my engagement photos. So if you haven't seen my engagement photos, you can go to my Instagram and um, 
If you haven't seen my uh, engagement photos, I have a few of them on my Instagram. It's linked down below. Uh, my name is The Janai Maria. I'll have it right here for you guys as well. And I love this. It lasted the whole day. It didn't melt off. And because I'm getting married in Costa Rica, which I will be doing a whole series about the wedding process, the planning process, just everything. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. But today, I'm just gonna show you how I put this on. I am actually gonna use a combination of two concealers today. The It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye because it's a fuller coverage and I like the color and the Makeup Revolution because this is a great drugstore concealer. I love it, I, I talked about it and I think my previous vlog, I mean, I talked about this concealer in my previous, one of my previous videos and it's phenomenal, I love it. I'm actually running low on it already, which is, I just got this. Um, but for the price, I think this is like $7, you can't go wrong. And what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna go on spots on my face. I actually have a little pesky breakout that I got right there. Here I like to apply it, here around my nose, and I like to apply my concealer here, and a little here, and a little here. And then, I'm gonna take the It Cosmetic and this is gonna go right under my eye. So I used one more for the face and one more for the eyes. I just put some black eyeliner on and smoked out the bottom with the colors pure per pure and or yeah per pure and Amara and I just used a little pencil brush and just smoked that out and the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually do my bronzer blush and highlighter and for my bronzer I'm just gonna use my tried and true hula and this is just gonna add warmth to my skin Nothing too crazy. I'm not really big into contouring. I just add like to add a little warmth and color back to my skin, the life back in. Um, and this is just my favorite bronzer. And you can see I'm kind of like going all over. And the brushes that I use, I mainly use Morphe and um, And I'm trying these Vanity Planet brushes out that are kind of like the Artiste and they're a little bit more affordable. I actually got those for Christmas a few years ago and I actually do like them. For my highlighters, I'm actually going to be using the Wet n Wild highlighters that I picked up the other day from Walmart. I've been loving these and when I tell you, I just keep getting compliments on top of compliments from both of these products combined. They are amazing, worth the price. I mean, I think total you pay like $11 for both of them versus spending 20 something or 30 something on just one. I put, I just dot this. Hello Halo highlighter on its own. It's so beautiful. And then this is the Fire, the Wet n Wild from their astrology line. I believe this, you can only find this in 
Walmarts. I'm not too sure, but again, it'll be linked down below. And this color complements the look because it has like a pink hue to it. Look at how beautiful that highlighter is. It's so pretty. Love it. I would really love if you guys um, let me know down below what you want to see. My next video I'm actually going to be putting out. Actually, I don't know what video is going to be out first, but I am going to be sharing my weight loss journey. I do a lot of weight loss posts on Instagram and um I'm going to share my story on YouTube. I think that's going to be my next video. I don't know which one's going to go first, if this one is going to go first or that one. And I did get my little tapestry from Home Goods. I'm kind I'm trying to create a beautiful background until my fiance and I um, find the space. So yeah, I'm gonna actually go back with my powder brush and just blend all that together and then I'm gonna apply my blush. Okay, the blush I'm gonna use is actually from Tarte. It's from an old palette that I got um, and I completely forgot about. And I'm gonna use a more neutrally color. And just a little bit of this on the apple. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the color mod, which I don't know, This these may be a limited edition, but they're some of my favorite blushes. I'll link my favorite ones or a current palette because they always come out with these for the holidays. This year's palette down below. do and yeah guys this is the completed look i hope you enjoyed it please comment rate subscribe it would mean the world to me like i said uh in my next video i will be probably talking about my weight loss so be on the lookout for that let me know what you would love to see from me and what you're liking what you're not liking i know my setup is a little wonky it is going to only get better from here check out my instagram if you want to see more posts related to like health fitness my life what i do i also have a twitter that i um tweet quite often <laughs> um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial until my next video bye